Hello, my beautiful Libra friends. I'm Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your April 2019 Love and Romance reading. I am bringing a new spread to you all for the April reading, so I hope that you enjoy the spread and the information as much as I enjoy giving it. As always, I would like to say thank you to all those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share, and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, book a reading with me on my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com or book a reading with me right now directly through the description box below. If you would like to know or confirm who your future long-term romantic partner is, when, where you meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, additional details, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your future partner and your ideal relationship, book a future partner reading with me right now through the description box below or again on my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. I have a new Instagram in which I am posting weekly fortune, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Power Life Hypnosis. Also, if you have an iPhone and iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app, instantgo.com slash Power Life Hypnosis. The links to my Instant Go, to my Instagram, to book a reading with me now, and my website are all in the description box below, so go ahead and check those links out. And of course, Libras, this is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do not, check your Moon and Rising Sign videos as those messages may, or you can check your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign videos for more complete picture of your love life during the month of April. So, <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started on our energy here. Now, I just have to say that, Libras, I'm really enjoying what I see here regarding your spread. Considering some things that you guys have been through in the recent past or even the past few years, what I'm seeing here, I'm really, really enjoying. So first and foremost, I have for the energy, man holding a heart. And this is the only time this card has come out for you all. I'm not, I'm sorry, not for you all, but for any of the April readings, you guys are the first to receive anyone holding a heart. So this is nice. So this shows that Libras, there is someone who is around you, who you know, who is very fond of you, who cares for you, who is giving their heart to you. Now, you could also be this person, of course, because this is a general reading, so the energies can be vice versa. Nevertheless, we do have an energy of someone willing to share their heart, someone willing to share their soul, someone willing to bear it all. Look at this guy's chest. His chest is just bare out there in the open. They're willing to bear it all with you. Show them, I'm sorry, show you who they really are. Or you could be willing to show them who you really are. So we have a really wonderful energy here. Now we also have here the card of all tied up in the reverse position. So what this is saying to me, Libras, is many of you may be releasing something, maybe releasing something that you feel has been binding. Releasing something which binds you. Okay, so this can be you releasing a person from the past that needs to be let go. This can be releasing fears, fear-based thinking about romance and love and moving forward. This is releasing something that no longer serves you. The absolute wonderful thing is we have this all tied up in the reverse, okay? If we had this in the upright, you would be tied up, bound, constricted. But you are releasing all that energy. So something that has no longer been serving you, whether this be a person, a place, a thing, a thought, a belief, a pattern, a fear, fear-based thinking. You are releasing this. You are letting this go. So you are able to enjoy this offer of love coming to you. So you are able to enjoy, <clears throat> excuse me, this romantic situation that is presenting itself to you. So very good job, Libras. Okay. This is wonderful, wonderful energy. Releasing the things that no longer serve you so that you can bring more love in. Okay. That's a wonderful, perfect situation there. You know, what more can we want? We want to let go 
of the things that are not serving us. We want to let go and release the things that are causing us pain. We want to let go and release the things that have no place in our lives so that we can bring more love, more romance, more joy, more happiness in. So this is a very excellent energy and I really truly like this for you guys considering especially considering some of the challenges that you've had within the last you know few years regarding romance and i say within the last few years because this is a general reading so you all may have experienced challenges in different ways but i know that many of you libras have experienced some challenges within the last few years okay so what's coming to you is something that you are deserving of okay i do see here oops, excuse me knock the crystal over i do see here card number 45 so there may be an ending coming and changes all right changes for the better ending and changes okay let me move my amethyst over and let's go into our predictions so i have here the tower the sun And the dog the tower the sun the dog so before we get into what this could signify regarding an actual event let's talk about what this can speak about when it comes to a person who this may be speaking of now please keep in mind this is a general reading so these very specific details that I'm going to provide some may resonate with you some may not some may describe yourself all may resonate none may resonate if these details do not resonate with you this does not mean that this reading is not for you this just means that you are involved with someone who looks unique to this description so please keep that in mind and we will go into what this signifies regarding an actual event in just a moment so regarding this person first off let me say i do see a soulmate here now who is this person this person could be someone who is a fire sign aries Leo, Sagittarius, I'm seeing very strongly. I'm also seeing that this could be somebody who is um, a Pisces, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, or we have Venus energy coming through, which is your lovely energy, Libras. So you could be involved with a fellow Libra or Taurus, sun, moon, arising. Or this can be your energy coming through because again, I do see a very strong Venus energy coming through, which is your energy. So this appears as though it's gonna be somebody who's likely tall, um, I'm picking up more tall and on the slender side, definitely. This is somebody who's definitely attractive. Okay, somebody who's very attractive. This is somebody who is uh, cute, well put together, good looking, you know, nice features, symmetrical features. I'm seeing from most of you. Now, I am getting a range. So I'm going to say for most of you, it's either going to be one or the other. Now, let's keep these. Oh. That's my dog and his squeaky toy. Um, again, I am having the uh, characteristics of somebody being tall, thin, coming through. Now, for many of you, this may be somebody who's of a different culture, race, or ethnicity than yourself. Okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be someone of a different culture, race, or ethnicity. But I'm saying for many of you, this will be someone, again, of a different culture, race, or ethnicity than yourself. And for many of you, I'm either seeing somebody who is light in color, someone who has blonde hair, uh, blue eyes, freckles, something like that. Or this can be somebody who is um, more darker in skin tone. And again, this is likely depending on your culture, race, or ethnicity because this person may be something different than yourself. But take these details as they resonate because, again, this is a general reading. So this can be somebody who has more of a darker skin tone. The skin tone can be um, olive or tan even. Um, this can be somebody, I'm seeing darker hair, absolutely. Okay, for most, most of you, darker hair. Brown hair, auburn hair, chestnut hair, brown eyes dark hair a darker skin tone again it can be olive or tan for some of you brown eyes or even hazel eyes 
so these are the details that I'm seeing here for many of you now for a very small number of you this may be somebody with a thick tongue or a prominent tongue okay so these are the details that I'm seeing now when it comes to the prediction I like what I'm seeing I'm seeing something good here first off it's like where do I begin okay first off in the center we have the Sun in the center as a focus we have a Sun the Sun is shining bright on your love life in April the Sun is shining on you optimism joy happiness success illumination something may absolutely be illuminated now let me go into this first before I go into the additional details and the rest of the spread here because these are the clarifying cards for the clarifying cards for your prediction I have the union and the message and the message came up in the reverse so something could be illuminated to you during the month of April now regarding this message regarding someone illuminating something to you if this is you someone illuminating something to you sharing something with you versus you sharing something with another person pay attention to the message okay pay attention to the message pay attention to what this person is saying to you take the message in don't water down their confession of love if they have a confession of love don't dismiss what they're saying take the message in also be very aware be very cognizant of intuitive messages that you may receive during the month of April so you may receive messages through billboards through text messages through music through television um, having a conversation maybe you receive a cleat on which is a person relaying a message to you innocently however this message ends up being very useful and providing you guidance for your situation you may receive a message in a bottle okay as you can see here you may receive a message in a bottle you are going to receive an important message during the month of April regarding a union and a connection a relationship someone who maybe wants to share their life with you or someone who's maybe very fond of you a coming together okay do not dismiss take the message lightly do not filter it through fear-based thinking take the message in take the message in excuse me I dropped a card here okay so regarding our prediction again we have something that could be illuminated for many of you illumination coming something being brought to light maybe something that you didn't know before or something that you weren't able to see before but this is going to be brought to you okay and it appears as though for many of you some of you may be in a connection with somebody who is at a distance from you or again a different culture race or ethnicity now some of you yes I'm seeing that there may be a flood or gush of emotions from someone so someone may be sharing their emotions sharing how they feel about you or you may be doing that to someone else sharing what's in your heart okay again a flood or a gush of emotions I see a relationship flowing smoothly during the month of April so that's excellent a relationship flowing smoothly okay moving forward positively okay joyfully happily positively you are right to be optimistic here okay hold on to any optimism that you have because you are right to have that optimism now it appears as though my lovely Libras many of you are taking a relationship to a new level I see you elevating during the month of April elevating your relationship elevating your love 
elevating your romance, elevating your connection. You're moving to a higher level of commitment with this tower card. So you're moving to a higher level of commitment. Again, elevating your relationship. Your relationship is going to a new level. This is also the energy of making something official. So many of you could be making a relationship official if it wasn't official before. Say you were in an open relationship before. During the month of April, you can be moving it to an official commitment with a particular person because I see that somebody is going to be very committed to you. Someone is loyal. You are dealing with a soulmate. This is my cute little pooch here, the one who was squeaking on his toy. Um, you're moving into a higher level of commitment with a soulmate. Yes, moving to a higher level of commitment with a soulmate. Let's go ahead and write that down. My lovely Libras. All right. I like it and I like it a lot. So again, you may be entering or deepening a connection with someone. And this is a loyal, faithful, trustworthy connection. This is a soulmate connection. This is someone who truly cares for you and you truly care for them. You are deserving of this. Libra, congratulations. I'm happy for you. All right. You deserve this. You have a good heart. You have the best of intentions. You are ruled by Libra. You are the most romantic. I find Libra the most romantic and loving of all the signs. So when you love, you love purely, wholly, truly. And you are deserving of someone who's going to match your heart, match your intentions and your efforts. Okay. And it looks like during the month of April, this is what you're getting. So you are deserving of this. All right. Congratulations. Very happy. If you guys can't tell, I'm very happy for you. I had, I have Libra, Libra friends. I know Libras and Libras are just beautiful. Every Libra I've ever known. I've loved you guys. It's just your nature. You know, you're very caring of other people. You guys are good friends, good lovers, good mates. And so you deserve someone who's going to match that, match that energy. And it appears as though you are connecting with someone during the month of April who does match that for you. Now, again, you can be this man holding a heart. You could be offering your love to someone else for my male Libras. Or my more masculine energy, energetic Libras. <laughs> Nevertheless, I do see your love ascending. Your love life ascending to a new level. Your relationships ascending to a new level. Things are elevating for you. In love and romance, elevation, ascension, congratulations. Now, the challenge that you ha may ha have during the month of April is we have the card of ordinariness. So, with this card being the challenge here, or the difficulty you may experience during the month of April, for many of you, it may be that, for example, say you've been in challenging relationships in the past. Say you've been in challenging relationships in the past or even dramatic relationships, relationships where something was always happening, something was always going on. Breaking up and making up, you know, fighting and making up, um, loving and leaving. You know, there was just some dramatic energy here. Now there's ordinariness and things are just easy going. And same old, same old. And calm. And 
if we are used to drama challenges constantly being presented in our relationships this still energy can be something that's a little bit challenging for us because we're like okay does this equal love if we're used to drama if we're used to challenging challenges if we're used to things going on or having to prove our love or someone constantly having to prove their love to us because they've done wrong or whatever it is you know this calm still energy things just being same old same old it can cause us to freak out a little bit if we do not know what that is like if we do not know what an easy going even even killed you know smooth relationship and connection if we don't know what that's like it can be kind of a, a, a shock to our system we're like wait a minute does this person love us they're not doing all these crazy things uh to make us prove our love to them or they're not doing all these crazy things to where we are ditching them and they have to prove their love to us we're not going through these cycles these makeups and breaks up breakups and you know the breakups are challenges but then the makeup show that they love us and we're not going through these cycles and all these challenges our scales the Libra scales are even they're actually even so for some that may be a challenge but know that you are beginning a new phase in love you're beginning a new type of dynamic a new type of relationship okay you're at the beginning of this wonderful journey towards a new type of love a new type of romance a new type of relationship you have everything available to you so much joy happiness abundance and love available to you so you may be starting a new journey embrace this journey embrace this new way of love embrace this new type of connection and this new type of relationship yes it's different but it's all the better for you it's different because you are deserving of this and i hope and i do okay i'm not gonna share this card yet we'll get into it in just a moment yes i was hoping i had that card and i do actually have this card okay so this is something new for you libras this is a new type of connection a new type of partnership a new type of relationship you're beginning a new journey okay you may not know the best way to proceed you may not know how to move forward you may not know all the answers as of yet all right and that's something to embrace embrace this situation embrace this connection with the childlike wonder inside of you okay be curious about what's around the corner be curious about this new connection and this new type of love and this new romance and what's to come and know that again the advice here is that you are deserving of this okay you've completed your journey from the fool to the world you started off you've gone through the lessons you learned what you needed to learn you become the person you needed to become you've done the things that you needed to do and now you are at the world or the completion where you have everything that you need now because of the work that you've done the growth that you've encountered okay the newness that you have brought upon yourself by loving yourself libras make sure to use your mind's eye and your intuition moving forward that's going to be essential but know that you have success here and now's the time to just start your wonderful beautiful journey that's all and that's it now it's time to start your wonderful and beautiful journey okay so that's excellent good job wonderful job you are deserving of this libras now i have some extra cards here for you because when i was pulling cards multiple cards just came out and 
Yes, exactly what we're speaking about. Okay. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay? Deeper love. More true love. Soulmate, faithful, trustworthy, best friend and lover type of connection is all yours, Libra. Enjoy. Now, know that this lover, once again, may differ from your usual type and expectation. So keep an open mind. So even if this relationship seems new, you're not used to this kind of energy where things are just boring. But boring is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> boring is good. Because it means that things are even. Things are even. We don't need to have drama, ups and downs in relationships to make them wonderful relationships. Actually, we want the opposite of that. We just want steady, true love. So, your love life, this relationship, your connection during this month may differ from your usual type and expectations, but this is what you need. This is what you deserve. Very happy for you. Your love life is ascending, once again, to a higher level. Love is becoming deeper, more true. This is a romance of a lifetime. This is a true love. Beautiful. Be in love. Enjoy that love, all right? Again, you deserve it. And think nothing less. You deserve it, all right? Okay. Now, also work on your partnership. Work on your partnership. Work on your connection. Enjoy, all right? Take things day by day. One way that you can work on your partnership is by loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. The way we love ourselves it shows up in our relationships. If we are not loving of ourselves, if we do not love ourselves, if we do not love ourselves deeply, truly, purely, and show that love to ourselves, guess what? We're going to attract others that are going to reflect that less than vision or that less than belief of ourselves. So that's why we must have that self-respect. We must love ourselves first. We must put ourselves first. And as we put ourselves first and love ourselves first, that gives us the ability to have love to give away to others. We cannot give away what we do not already have. So if we are focused on giving another love above ourselves, we don't have the love to give away because we're focused on giving all of the love that we need to give to ourselves. All the love that's supposed to be used for our own special reserve to another person. So that is not allowing us to love in the deepest way. So we must love ourselves first, put ourselves first, make sure that we are taken care of and we are happy first and foremost before another person and not doing so can get us involved in abusive relationships and codependency and things like that. I don't see that energy here, Libras. I see good energy for you all. So I don't see that energy here. Nevertheless, again, keep in mind, we must love ourselves first, pour love into ourselves first, make sure that we are taken care of on our own. And through doing so, then we can give away the best, richest, deepest, most beautiful romantic love to another person. Okay? Love yourself first. You are lovable. You are amazing. And you deserve all the love in the world. Dearest Libra, we're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language, through the messages of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. Pay attention to the intuitive messages that you receive, whether they be through your internal psychic senses of some of you are more intuitive and you have psychic hearing, psychic seeing, psychic sensing, psychic feeling, psychic knowing, or you receive signs externally and you notice those more often, whether they be through billboards, through music, through television, through signs, through conversations, 
pay attention to the signs because you are receiving them during April in your life on earth however clarity in your communication is essential to being understood clarity in your communication is essential to being understood you don't speak in symbols and if you did you would definitely confuse things right now you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity Libras be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met the first step is to admit out loud that you have needs the second is to ask out loud for them to be met and the third is to allow the person the organization or even us angels god you uh, i'm sorry angels god the universe your spirit higher power angels god universe spirit higher power the angels those who are your spiritual support your spiritual support team even allow them to answer you when you follow these steps you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor affirmative we say loving you so much so my dearest lovely divas these are the messages that i have for you i hope i was able to provide you with some useful guidance and messages for your love and romantic relationships april 2019 thumbs up like this reading if the messages resonate with you comment share subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and again if you would like to book a private reading with me go ahead and check out my website powerlifehypnosis.com you can book a reading with me a book of reading with me right here right now directly through the description box below i love you all so much i look very forward to seeing you here again soon Send you all so much love wishing you all the best of luck and also sending you love and light from my heart and i look very forward to again seeing you here soon for your mid-monthly readings and again follow me on instagram for your weekly fortunes Thank you again. Mwah. Bye, Libras.